You cannot wrap your head around how big a Geop byte is. It's a massive collection of ones and zeros that has yet to exist. Let me break it down for you. One byte is an individual collection of eight various ones and zeros. One Geop byte is 10 to the 30th power amount of these bytes. That's a number one followed by 30 digits. But rest assured, there are no hard drives that can even come close to holding this amount of data, or even warehouses for that matter. And that's all fine and good because it is an informal term and is not standardized. At least not yet anyway. I mean, you know it's only a matter of time before we start dealing with information at this magnitude. Explain it. People in the 1980s would have a hard time imagining a world in which we all have smartphones in our pockets that can hold hundreds of gigabytes. They wouldn't even know the term gigabyte. So you just keep that in mind when you hear the term geop byte. I want to show you just how large of a scale we're talking about here. So let's start at the very smallest size of digital data and work our way all the way up to the very largest. The smallest measurement of digital data is a binary digit or a bit. A bit is it's like an atom in the computer science universe. It's either in a state of one or zero, and this is indicated by a power signal or lack thereof. Think of it like a simple true or false statement in a vast hierarchical flowchart system that ultimately allows you to do things like watch this video right now. In this world, it makes sense to count by doubling. So let's do that from a bit. You double a bit, you get two bits. Double two bits, you get four bits. Double four bits, and you get one byte, eight bits. Double that, you get 16 bits, then 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. And then we get to the thousands with 1,024 bits, or you can think of it as 1,024 on and off signals, one kilobit. And just like if you combine eight bits, you get a byte. If you combine eight kilobits, you get one kilobyte. From here, we'll stick with the bytes. So 1,000 kilobytes, specifically 1,024 kilobytes, is one megabyte. 1,024 megabytes is one gigabyte. 1,024 gigabytes is one terabyte. 1,024 terabytes is one petabyte. 1,024 petabytes is one exabyte. 1,024 exabytes is one zettabyte. 1,024 zettabytes is one yottabyte. A yottabyte is the largest unit approved as a standard size by the International System of Units. But people are not just going to stop counting. So next up, unofficially, is a Bronto byte, which is 1,024 yottabytes. And of course, the Geop byte, which is 1,024 Bronto bytes. Again, this is not a standard term. It's more like theoretical counting slang. And I'm not sure who exactly invented the term. I did some digging, but I was only able to find a 2015 article by the World Economic Forum that mentions both a Bronto byte and a Geop byte. I found a website that goes much beyond uh, a Geop byte in counting. So let's go through it just because I find it funny. And I'll start all the way at a bit. And um, remember that at Yotta byte, that's the last point where... Um, you know, units are official. So here we go. Bit, byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, petabyte, exabyte, zettabyte, yottabyte, bronto byte, geop byte, sagan byte, pija byte, alpha byte, cryot byte, amos byte, pectoral byte, bolger byte, sambo byte, kesa byte, kinsa byte, ruther byte, dubney byte, seaborg byte, boar byte, hessia byte, meitner byte, darmstad byte, rowent byte, and finally, coper byte. That's quite a list right there. It's easy to, to laugh about this and say, oh, why would we ever need to count up that high? But just keep in mind what a gigabyte looked like in the 80s compared to a standard SD card. Where do we start using holograms? You're not going to be able to put a hologram on a modern hard drive. You're going to need a geop byte. Thanks for watching this video today. 
you want to learn more about topics like these, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you next time.